for the most part, people have a really difficult time visualizing change. And in a crazy way, when you think about it, it's always been just an accepted unknown, right? It was a few years ago, my husband started rendering his designs for his client and they just went absolutely crazy for it. Welcome to the Construction Disruption Podcast, where we uncover the future of building and remodeling. I'm Ryan Bell of Isaiah Industries, manufacturer of specialty metal roofing and other building materials. And today my co-host is Ethan Young. Ethan, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good, Ryan. Happy it's Friday. Doing good though. How about you? Good. I'm I'm happy it's Friday. It's a little cold here today, but yeah. we had some nice weather the last few days. Creeped up into the 60s, got the grill out. So there you go. That taste of spring was much needed. <laughs> Before we dive into the episode, I just want to mention any new listeners we have. We like to play a little game called Challenge Words here, uh, where we each give each other a word. That's kind of a random word, and we need to try to sneak it into the conversation somewhere. So keep your ears open and see if you can kind of pick out the word that seems a little awkward. And then at the end, we will each reveal what our words were. Today's guest is Jackie Mosier, the Chief Operating Officer of Designly, and that's spelled D-Z-I-N-L-Y, based in Royal Oak, Michigan. With over 20 years of successful experience in real estate sales and marketing, Jackie is revolutionizing exterior home design for both new homes and those that are in need of a facelift. Designly offers a simple and affordable way for homeowners and builders to see their ideas rendered on their home by professional designers. They remove the headache and uncertainty of having to toggle between different products and colors to show fantastic design ideas all within two days. Jackie, welcome to Construction Disruption, and thank you for joining us today. Hi, thank you so much for having me. We are glad you're here. Ethan and I have both kind of been on your website checking it out, and it looks like you've really got something cool going on with design and what you're offering. Can you kind of you know, start out by giving our our audience a kind of summary of what Designly does and who your typical client might be. Sure. Well, Designly is definitely becoming the new way to design or update just the exterior of your home. So we connect you with top designers to get ideas for your home, and then we show you those ideas rendered on your home. But we also have, with that, an awesome toggle feature. So you can toggle on the recommendations. You can toggle on some that you just want to see some ideas. So different colors, materials. So, and it's extremely fast and cost effective. So if you submitted a project, you could get design palettes within two business days. And we're at the lower end of the price scale for conventional design service and at just one ninety nine for the designer package. That's a great price really yeah. um honestly i was kind of shocked when i saw that on your website mm-hmm. because you no know, we're, we're getting my wife and i are getting ready to paint she wants to paint every room in the house so we're getting ready <laughs> to paint the entire the yeah. entire inside of our house and so we have paint swatches everywhere oh, you know, yeah. and it's so hard yeah. and i can only imagine the exterior of your like i can't yeah. even fathom trying to design or pick colors ba- on yeah. the outside for the exterior no. of our house without having something like this no well who it's the thing is too is it's so expensive your exterior i mean those are yeah high ticket items and it's not like you know a room where i mean i've painted rooms before and i'm like that's not working you know and then i end up painting it a couple months later over because i don't like it you know so and who wants to be responsible for that financial thing you know what i mean like oh it's so difficult even top designers Without being able to see it, I mean, they can second guess themselves, right. you know? Yeah. So, yeah. So it is. It's super, super cool. I would say that's a great point, too, because those are, you know, those are lasting choices on the exterior of your house. Oh. You know, that's like, like you're saying, it's not like you can just repaint a room or repaint cabinets or whatever, you know? It's, no. It's, it's, a, it's no. a much bigger deal. And the thing is, too, is that I would hope people take this into consideration. Obviously, we could probably all think of a neighbor that doesn't. But it's everyone in your neighborhood that has to live with your decision as well. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like being a little bit conscious. At the end of the day, it is your home and whatnot. But I mean, some I want to conform and go with. So 
it's a decision that more than just yourself have to live with. <laughs> so much truth in that. Yeah. So you had a long career in real estate before you kind of yeah. got into this designly. There had to have been, you know, some pain points that you were seeing on part of homeowners that kind of drove you to creating Designly as a, a solution. Can you tell us about that yeah. a little bit? How that that part of your career helped you move into this? Yeah, absolutely. Well, for the most part, people have a really difficult time visualizing change. It's just, you know, our brains really aren't built that way. And in a crazy way, when you think about it, it's always been just an accepted unknown, right? Like, you go to a builder and they're like, oh, well, we have these and they show you blah, blah, blah. And you're just like, well, I guess I'll pick that one. You know what I mean? And it's like such a massive decision. And they're just and it's it's this unknown. But everyone just accepts it as like, well, we don't know. We'll have to wait. So a few years ago, my husband started rendering his design for his client and he just went absolutely crazy for it. And a couple of things happened when that happened. One, he was able to visually show them his vision, right? So obviously, I mean, it's like, wow, look at that. But then two, it totally took the indecisiveness away from the client, right? Because they just look at it and they're like, wow, okay. There's no trying to imagine this. There was no like palette boards. It was just like, this is it. And it was like, wow. So not to mention that, but then found that clients were willing to make a decision like that. It wasn't like, well, we need to think about it and we need, you know what I mean? No, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. So then when that happened, I mean, most of his clients though have the means to have access to really any tool or what they want. So we thought, how cool would this be to make this accessible to a typical homeowner, this service? So that's really, it was built for a need. We both are in, you know, been in the real estate industry really kind of our entire lives. So yeah, that's what drove and it was really just the need. And then it just became so much more. Probably one of those things that really just kind of seemed seamless and like, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of this sooner type yeah. thing? Right. Right. Yeah. Like, such a easy solution to a big common widespread problem. Oh, for sure. For sure. So when a, when a homeowner finds Designly and wants to use the service, what do they need to do on their end? Like what, what do they supply to you to go through the process? Yeah. Well, super easy. So in one project, that's one view of your home. So you could literally take a picture of the exterior of your home, front, back, side, whatever area you wanted to see rendered upload it to the site. You go through like a small questionnaire where you're asked, you know, what types of color families do you like? You can upload any info photos that you would like. And also, even if you don't necessarily know what you do like, you could even submit what you definitely don't like, you know? So it's the more information, the better. And then also what's cool about Designly is that your image, we render on your image. So if you uploaded a photo of your home and you said, I just wanted to change the siding and I'm really thinking about maybe replacing some of the stone and the front door and the trim. We just render those areas, meaning everything else is the actual photo, right? You know how a lot of times if you see a rendering and even though as realistic as they can look, it still looks a little not real. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is your actual home and what toggles is only the things that you change. So it's, it's very realistic. And we also capture even the lighting exposure at that time. We don't just mask and throw on anything. I mean, this is like true. This is what it would look like if you did it. So that's a super cool aspect as well, because you could go anywhere and just get a whole rendering, but they're essentially sometimes rendering to me, remind me of like make-believe. You can make things look as beautiful as you want. You know, like we're going to leave your kids toys in the front yard. So <laughs> yeah love we, that yeah i'm sure you get a lot of pictures like that uh, we do of roofs obviously and there's so many that i can't use because there's a dumpster in the picture or so i i totally know what you're saying about stuff later <laughs> oh yeah no totally totally and we've also well i say we but it's more me as i had mentioned i like the little prankster but 
I've been known to throw a little something in like a window Mm -hmm. or like, you know what I mean? (laughs) Uh, And I'm waiting for someone to notice, but it's so subtle in the sense like I've put like ears on someone's dog or cat looking out the window or Photoshop somebody in a neighbor's window. But anyway, yeah. That's awesome. It's realistic. Yeah. (laughs) Now I want to do one just to see if I can find Waldo (laughs) in my. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. 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 It's. Totally. It's very rare. But when you know, when you just look at something, you're like, yep, this is happening. But that would be the thing because it's so somebody, it's not all a make believe. It's a true, actual image of your home. And like I said, if your kid's tricycle's out there and they've got a bucket, I just might put something in the bucket. Yeah. No, I mean, it, it like grounds it in reality. So it's easier for them to <laughs> see the change. Yes. Yeah. 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 So is the, the rendering limited to, I guess you probably asked this in your questionnaire, just the kind of surfaces and stuff and materials used, or does it go to a further extent where like you want to change your entire front door entrance or porch type thing? Sure. Well, that would be considered an architectural change, which we do offer. So when you're coming through, you have that option where you would just like to change the existing materials or if you would like an architectural change, whether that be You'd like to see what a covered porch looks like on your house. Maybe you're thinking about adding dormer. Maybe you do want new windows, but you want different sizing or there's, or a lot of people are like, I just don't like the look. Can you help me? They literally have no idea how to fix the problem. They just know they, they're not happy with it. So then the project goes to our in-house architect and typically you get more than one proposed idea going off of what you have filled out for what your goals are. Um, And then that will come back and with a mock-up and a quote to build each mock-up if you chose to select one of those, then we will build that in a realistic fashion onto your home. And then it would go through the design process. Yeah, and actually a ton of people use this service. And, you know, the reason why too is think about it majority of people don't know where to access or to get something like that done, right? And the thought of contacting an architect or a builder just, I mean, can seem a little intimidating, especially when that's just not your, you know, your normal world. But these realistic images, obviously, we don't provide plans or whatnot. We're not on site. We don't have these measurements or whatnot. But it's a realistic image that you could take to a local builder or architect and say, this is what I want. Let's build this. We've interviewed architects on the podcast before and they've voiced a similar concern as like, you know, people, a lot of times they just don't think of their project being something that they need to go to an architect for. Yeah. So something like this would be the perfect segue into that. So Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about the professional designers that you have on your team. What kind of experience and background or training do they typically have? Well, all of design lead designers go through in-depth qualification review and have extensive experience in design and architectural world, we're on the path to have the largest network of professional home designers in the industry. And Designly has really been a big win for homeowners, but also designers as well. And this is because traditionally, you know, a designer, they sort of have their little, their little home local market They're you know, they can market, you know, people come to them and they can market themselves in that area. But this allows them, I mean, they can be nationwide and not to mention the rendering and the tools, visualization tools are very expensive. Mm -hmm. And a lot of designers don't pay for those services or even know how to use them. So our platform gives them that, that they can use. They can refer theirs like, oh, well, let's go through the Designly platform. I can show you, you can play. So it allows them, obviously, and they are now exposed to all of design clientele. It's not just in their market. Wow. Very cool. So yeah. I think I was, I was maybe misunderstanding. I guess when I was looking at your website, I was thinking it was more of just a service, I guess. Mm-hmm. Not, I didn't realize it was its own platform. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. We have a lot of that's coming and being built right now. A lot of like exciting, very exciting things. So more, more to come with. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So the imagery that's in there, as far as the materials and stuff, or is that something that manufacturers, you know, they connect with you and they 
pay a fee or submit to you to have on your platform for any designer to use? Is that kind of how that works? Yeah. Well, we, we've built a vast library of products for manufacturers throughout the U.S. and are constantly forming partnerships with these various companies to create more of a seamless experience to get their product even in the right hands. So typically manufacturers would have to mass market their product and really push distributors to promote their product to get it direct endorsement. So now though, they have designers that are actually endorsing their product who the clients trust their recommendations. And they also in that same breath have the ability to direct market to the clients that are viewing their products on their home in real time. Yeah. So it's an amazing tracking tool for them as well. Does that make sense? So if you thought about it, they have access to the back end and a client is looking at, has saved combination and this client has loved this design palette and it includes this paint color, this cladding, this stone, this roof, this, they would have access to that and they could say, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to send, I see Sue really likes this, but I'm going to send her a 25% off coupon. You know what I mean? Because they already know this. she's ready. She's ready. The people that come to us, they're not like, they're ready. They want to make a change. They're ready to take action. And, and I would say like, I mean, in excess of 80% actually implement their taking action. So it's an absolutely incredible tool for manufacturers. So, yeah. Sounds like it. Um, yeah. It's like <laughs> kind of like Pinterest on steroids is yes. what I'm thinking. Like, yes. you know, without the kerfunkle of all the extra stuff and the rabbit hole you dive into <laughs> yeah. when you're, when you log into Pinterest, at least for me. Um, That's right. So, um, you know, you mentioned working with architects and you have an in-house architect, uh -huh. uh, you know, what, what does that look like in terms of working with other architects outside of Designly or your network, or do you have a network of architects like yeah. you do designers? Yeah, at this time, but the, the architects are more, that's not opened up necessarily like all the designers at this time. Those are more in-house that we have. And we are building, I don't, I say in-house because there's a difference between working directly for Designly and sort yeah. of, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to be moving into all the aspects of the exterior design and implementing your change. Very cool. So you started with Designly in January of 2020. Um, mm -hmm. Correct. Is that when Designly was started as well? Like, were you part of the well, Designly has been a seed in my husband and I's brain since 2014. Okay. And I've always been a collaborative aspect of it. But I, and the whole platform and all the software, everything was built by us. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's all ours. Yeah. That's great. This has been just a huge work in progress. But I stepped in 2020 as COO and then we formally launched about a year later. Okay. So, so you kind of launched in that COVID era where that was affecting a lot of, a lot of different things. Um, did you find it difficult to, you know, to kind of launch during that time or was. Well, at that point we hadn't really like fully hit the gas, you know, oh, yeah. so we were, we had things filled, we were out there, but we weren't like screaming from the rooftop at all. So we were just sort of, we're still building and perfecting and all of that. I mean, it's a ton of work building all of this yourself. And so there was at that time during COVID, we were servicing like looky loose because obviously everyone was just at home on the internet trying to perfect or change the place that they're captive of, you know? And so people that found us, they, we would, you know, service them, but we didn't formally launch, I would say, till like the end of COVID. But, you know, even still, this is the difference is even if people are, and now we're coming into a time of like, you know, uh oh, what's going on with the market? Like, oh my gosh, you know, and, and building costs and everything is just through the roof. And it's just like, ah. so it's like somebody just really like, you know, threw a boomerang around the room and you just, you know, you know, you don't even know like where it's going to land. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But even if 
people still want to better their home, their safe place and all of that, even if they're like, I just need a little change and I just want to paint my front door. You know what I mean? And I, maybe I want like a massive pop of color. That's not really my personality. I don't even know what to do, but even a project as simple as that, you know, we do. So through COVID or even through times where, you know, we've had people, you know, they come through and they're like, Hey, I'm working on like pennies, but help me, you know? Yeah. And they're still looking to make a little change or do something, but because we are so cost effective and this is a tool, remember too, that people get to play with their, their project never expires. So they're at home oh, and they're yeah. just playing. They're on like, let's say, you know, once the project's delivered, it's almost like that's when the fun part starts because now you get to toggle and these different colors and materials on or off. And then let's say like two days later, you think, oh, I came across this color or this on Pinterest. I want to see that, right? So you can add, let's say I say, oh, you know what? I think I want a lime green door at this point. So I can go on and I can add that color to my front door for just $5 a swap. And we'll then render that. And it's essentially like you can keep adding these swatches into what I like to call your sandbox of toys to play with. And it just keeps building and building. So it's not like, oh, you come through, you get a design and we deliver it and you're done and you go on. No, it's, it's that's where the fun starts. So do you have, like, I'm picturing myself getting this and sitting mm-hmm. down with my wife and looking at the <laughs> options that we have. Does this ever, I'm sure it does. Oh. I know where you're going. Create some paralysis analysis where like, like, I mean, I'm looking at, you know, the things you can click through on your website. I'm like, that looks cool. So does that. They, I mean, they yeah. all look great. Like, yeah. Yeah. Do you help people get over that hurdle of trying yeah. to decide what they like then? Or is it? Yeah. You want to know what's funny is the amount of times people have come back and the husband and wife are like at odds. One oh, likes sure. this, the other yeah. likes this. And so we'll just say, okay, you know, a designer will go in and because you can save combinations too, like okay. in your uh, account. So you can say like Jackie's favorite, Ethan's favorite, Ryan's favorite. So we'll go in and try to be as unbiased as possible and then save another combination. You know what I mean? Or we'll like really? pick the clear winner and then describe why. But it happens a lot, a lot. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. A lot. I mean, oh, yeah. You kind of mentioned earlier, you've got some things in the pipeline and planned. Yeah. Any thoughts on interior, the interior of the home or interior design? Is that something you guys are considering or would consider? Yeah, I never say never. We're obviously, we're laser focused right now on mass scaling the exterior part. But so many people finish with that and they say, hey, can you help us with the interior? And it's like, oh, you know, not at this time. I'm sure it's going to be a natural progression. Yeah. 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 I, probably one of those things that's hard to ignore when once you're there and ready. Yeah. Yeah. And they're so excited. And the thing is, too, is when people talk, they love like the toy. It just and then they, they want to be able to apply that to the other aspects that they're wanting to change. So, yeah. So I think it will be a natural, natural progression. Cool. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I know. Too bad it wasn't now for you yeah. and your wife yeah. here. <laughs> Days are numbered. Right. Yeah, right. definitely. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm at the point where I just don't care. I'm like, yeah, they all look good. You picked yeah. out you picked out so many different colors that are just off by a shade. I don't care. Just pick one. Like, let's paint and be done with it. Yeah. Well, smart man, because that's your <laughs> oh. So you saw a need and filled it with Designly. Are there any other needs you're seeing out there in kind of the home design world that you think our industry would benefit from addressing? You know, the thing is, it's like people's home, it's their comfort zone. And it also provides them the ability to express themselves, their taste, their style. So therefore, every component to a home will always be relevant and very important and have like even an emotional pull to everybody. But I would say... The next, like, most logical service would likely be landscape architecture. And it's also okay. something that we have a lot of expertise in. So that sort of makes sense yeah. going with the exterior. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you on that. I've been, we've been down that road too with planning stuff. And <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've planted things and pulled them out and moved them and replanted them. And 
It's what you have to look forward to, Ethan. Yeah, I, yeah I've done that enough with my parents. I yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm cool. always happy to do it, but not not like when it's the third time and then it dies. And yeah, no. So we, you know, believe that many members of our audience are kind of just getting started out in their careers, whether it's related to design, construction, mo- remodeling, you know, something in this industry. Is there any advice that you would give uh, to someone that's just getting started and kind of w- what they should keep an eye out for and, and look for and just any advice you'd have for someone young? coming sure. into the industry. Sure. Well, I mean, educate yourself, study material, colors, trends. I mean, obviously going to school and getting a degree and proper training is a safe path, but especially in this day and age in social media or whatever, if you have raw talent, they come to you, you know, but that's, I mean, truly, I mean, the way you can market yourself, I mean, look at these like 15 year olds on like TikTok and YouTube just killing it. You know what I mean? They, they haven't even, they don't even have a diploma. So it's up to you to educate yourself and separate yourself from the herd. But in this day and age, I mean, there's so many tools that even I'm not familiar with and that I, because that wasn't how I grew up and I didn't have access to all of that. And so really, you just have to have the drive because it's not going to fall on your lap, you know, and there's a lot of competition too. So, but if you have raw talent, just keep grinding. When we were looking through your website earlier too, and your mission and tech talk, I have to commend you definitely on using that. Cause you know, that's a tough platform for a lot of construction adjacent companies to try and maneuver, you know, mm-hmm. it's unfamiliar for a lot of people, but it has a lot of power. Absolutely. Especially with the audience that you're trying to get. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, especially too with change. Yeah. Again, we're going back to people. It's hard to visualize change. So people are obsessed with watching change. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, thanks so much, Jackie. We're wrapping up the business end of things here. Um, it's been a real pleasure and privilege uh, hearing about Designly and learning more about it. Um, is there anything that we haven't covered today that you'd like to share with our audience? Even yeah. No, I would just ask that anyone interested in following our adventure, just keep an eye out. We have some amazing things coming soon and plenty more planned for the future. Awesome. I will definitely be following you on social media. So, Okay. Oh, um, so before we close out, you know, we played our little challenge word game, but yeah. we also like to do rapid fire questions here at the end. Hey. Um, Jackie, these are yeah. seven questions. They range from serious to silly. Um, okay. you can only, your only commitment is to provide a short answer to each one. Our audience needs to understand that if you agree to this, you have no idea okay. what we are about to ask. So are you up to the challenge of rapid fire? I am. I am. Right. Let's awesome. go. Yeah. Ethan and I will alternate asking questions. Ethan, you want to kick things off? Yeah, yeah, I can start. Okay. All right. Okay. So if you could be transformed into one animal, what animal would you be? Ooh, uh, I think a bird. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think a bird for sure. Any particular bird? Well, probably a hawk. Yeah. Be cool. Yeah. A lot of freedom. Yeah, you know? I think. Yeah, for sure. They're fast. They're great hunters. They're, you know, I mean, but they're not that big. Like, I, I think, know. yeah, I would, I'd probably be a hawk. Good choice. What is your favorite board game? Oh, board game. Oh, gosh. Well, I have young kids, so I play a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of Uno and, and you know, what's funny is board games, they're almost too young. Like there's a lot of getting upset and not maybe understanding. So no one has ever, we've never finished a board game. <laughs> we, we've struggled through that the yeah. last yeah. Like, 10, 10 years. Like there, our kids are finally getting to the point our youngest one still has her breakdowns but yes it's so frustrating yeah to not be able to play a game without someone getting upset no because you're like that's not the rules you're not allowed to yes. do that but then at the I end know. of the day you're like i don't even care play however you want let's just get through this so right. i mean but i guess so i haven't played a true board game it's been a very very long time but i mean i did enjoy playing monopoly mm. monopoly was fun so i would say yeah i did enjoy monopoly we've been playing trouble a lot yeah, would be, lately, oh, yeah. but it, it's been painful, but I think it's teaching them to learn that that's how games are played. Yeah. You're going to get sent back home yeah. <laughs> and you're going to have to start over, yeah. get over it. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, totally, totally. It's been, there's been a ton of tears and screaming yeah. and fighting from oh, it, yeah. but 
It's getting better the more we play it. Oh, yeah. You want to know what my problem is? We have trouble, too. And I love trouble. I personally, I think it's great. But you want to know what? They can't not lose those ding dong pieces to save their life. I go to the box. I go, what the <laughs> heck? So I guess everybody's every color. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, my God. Oh, that's funny. So, yeah. yeah so trouble. That's a good one, though. <laughs> oh. Okay. Next one. Okay. What always makes you laugh? Oh, my gosh. Honestly. I mean, I love, I'm a sucker for bloopers and yeah. pranks. And I mean, I can listen. Have you, have you guys ever Googled or watched on YouTube this kid that hook up like a train horn to their car? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Oh my gosh. I mean, just crying tears, whatever. So I would have to say, I mean, a good slip and fall as long as no one gets hurt. But like, I mean, yeah. Those to me are a little gifts. Yeah. I'm right there with you. We watch America's Funniest Home Videos yeah. every Sunday that it's on. It's one yeah. of my favorite shows. Yeah. Heck Always yeah. has been. It just brings me so much joy. So yeah, I would say, yeah. Good to laugh. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Next question. Do you, do you have your own Netflix account or do you use somebody else's? Oh, what? I do have my own. Wow. I do. I do. But also on mine, then... You know, well, because I had to because of, you know, the kids and this and that. I just yeah. need consistency. But I will say that I am. Well, I got rid of my table because I thought I'm going to just save so much money, you know, with like these transfers. Now I'm like, oh, my gosh, what I pay. And yeah. I have all the I'm like, I need to really sit down and reassess that. But yes, I do. I do have my own and I, I do pay for that. Yeah. I'm definitely a mooch. I'm still using my parents' snacks. <laughs> so, I'm, not, I'm not ashamed of it, but maybe one day I'll yeah. pay for my own. But. Yeah, I am going to mooch off of someone I know is their HBO yeah. Max because I'm not exactly sure. And I just, so I think I'm just going to use theirs for free for a while and see how I like that. So, so I'm not totally innocent. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Um, what world record do you think you'd have a shot at beating? Oh, oh, like a Guinness? Yeah, Like yeah, it could yeah. be like, oh, man. Because there's some crazy ones. I mean, I've seen like, you yeah. know, World's Biggest Nutcracker or those guys who can eat like 60 hot dogs or, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know. I don't know. If there was one in efficiency, I That's know that it. would be tough to measure, but I am like so efficient in the sense that like in my house or wherever I am, I set things like if I know I'm going to be moving in that yeah, direction yeah. in like 20 minutes, it's there to grab If I, you know what I mean? Like there's so much thought out efficiency because I never want to make two trips, you know? So I, but I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a yeah. tough question. I mean, I almost think you just have to like pick something niche and just like really get good at it. But I, I don't know. There's so yeah. many crazy ones. I don't know. Well, but Oh yeah. Yeah. Were I'm you not, ever a, a restaurant server or bartender or anything like that? Hands in, hands out. Is that what you were going to say? <laughs> no, it wasn't. Oh, but yes, yeah. Were you? But yes. because I do the I do the same thing about like setting stuff certain places or and and I know it's from when I was a, a server and a bartender. Like I yes. know I picked that up. Yeah. That you gotta you gotta think like that, and I still catch myself doing it. You want to know what that's called? That well, that's how it was. Full hands in, full hands out. Meaning, anytime you go into the kitchen, you should have full hands. Uh, anytime okay. you come out of the kitchen, you yeah. should have full hands. Whether you're running food or whether you're pre bucking yeah. tables, you know what I mean. And yep, so that's yep. how I look at it. Whenever I'm going upstairs or downstairs in the basement or wherever I'm going, I always try to have something in my hand that has to go in that direction. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. But yes, I was. I have my years under my apron for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what movie, book, or TV show changed your life? Oh, that. If there was one. Um. Oh gosh, changed my life. How about impacted? Yeah. No. You want to know what I do know actually, and in all honesty, I hate to sound like a cheese ball, but The Secret. I mean, did you guys ever watch that? I don't think uh, I have. What's it on? What? I'm going to look it up real quick. What? <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Uh, what, okay. Well, I'm book. about to change okay. your life. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, in. yeah. Oh, yeah. Your day just got good. Okay. 
So the secret, it's really all just about um, positive thinking and mindset and that truly you can have anything you want in life or acquire anything you want in life. And it's really all about your mindset and it trains you in more of a positive gratitude type thinking. It's really okay. interesting. I'm telling you this weekend, you should really watch that. I'm telling you, it'll change your life. What's it on? Oh, gosh. I don't know, because now I have out okay. the, the Audible. So there's so many books. It's, um, I would think, Rhonda. Rhonda yeah, it's Rhonda uh, Byrne is what it's looking like. Yeah, Rhonda Byrne. Yeah. Okay. And so there's so many different books. And then you can, there is the TV show. I'm sure you could find it on almost anything. I mean, it's been out. For yeah, it's on a lot of stuff. Dong ever. From what I can see. Yeah, it is. All right. But then I even have, like, if I'm having, like, a... Ah, you know, you get in your own head or you're just having a rough one. I just, I have it on Audible and I'll listen to it, you know, when I'm driving or whatever. And it just, it really snaps you in the right direction so quick. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You should really watch cool. that. Yeah. All righty. Last Will question. Do. What is the coolest feature in your home? Yeah. Coolest feature in my home. Oh, gosh. I would have to say we have what's called the bunk room and it's, the only way to get in or out is through secret bookshelf. Oh, cool. That's very oh, cool. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah, cool. I want I a secret room yeah. so bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's really awesome. And that opens up and it's like massive. So do you have to like pull a special book or something to open no, it? No, it doesn't. No, you have to remember I have little children, so they uh, ruin everything, yeah. you know, but um, <laughs> <laughs> literally... That's why I always say one of my models, you can't have anything nice around here. Yep, yep. But um, no, so you essentially just push them. But if you didn't know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know. know that. It, mm -mm. No, you wouldn't that's know. That's cool. Yeah, Very it cool. is. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Very neat. Well, uh, that wraps up our rapid fire questions. We were all successful in getting our challenge words in too. Jackie, your word was? Boomerang. Boomerang. <laughs> Ethan, your word was? Mine was nutcracker. It took me a while, but I got, I got there. <laughs> and mine was kerfunkel i almost forgot it i had to look um but yeah we were all successful at sneaking those in so maybe you caught them um jackie thanks again yeah this has been a, a real pleasure and very eye-opening into what you guys are doing to kind of change and improve and make this industry better um for anyone that wants to get in touch with you or uh, follow you you know what's the best way for them to do that yeah instagram at designly space and on TikTok, just at Designly, and that's D-Z-I-N-L-Y. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And that's Designly, not like a space, but spell, space spelled out. Yes. Thank you. Thank we, you. Thank we, will, you. we will put that in the show notes. Thank you. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of Construction Disruption with Jackie Mosier, Chief Executive Officer of Designly. Please watch for future episodes of our podcast, we have more great guests on tap, and don't forget to leave a review on Apple Podcast or YouTube. Until the next time we're together, change the world for someone, make them smile, and encourage them. Two simple yet powerful things we can all do to change the world. God bless and take care. This is Isaiah Industries signing off until the next episode of Construction Disruption.